Hello everyone, I'm Rachel and I welcome you all to Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'm speaking with Anand Sahain. Anand is the founder and CEO of Lex Technologies. He's also an aviation domain expert. Lex is an artificial intelligence based maintenance company creating digital intelligence for maintenance technicians. Here at Kalkine, we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates, all under one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock market and help you understand how you can create multiple passive income streams. A very warm welcome to you, Anand. Thank you. Now, first of all, could you please give us an introduction to Lex Technologies? Uh, we are uh, using the latest artificial intelligence technology and natural language processing to provide uh, support to the technicians who are at the coal face. This is a problem that we had identified long ago and uh, we have used the technology which allows them to bring the equipment back in service very quickly. Now, Lex empowers maintenance technicians by bringing information to their fingertips. What are the advantages of this unique digital colleague in today's evolving times? Today, if we look at COVID situation, right, uh, and look at the technician, how he solves the problem, he or she solves the problem. So basically, there's a lot of communication going on with other human beings, other technicians, peers and so forth, that would be reduced to start with. So it is COVID safe. The other thing is that it allows them not to travel to other areas to collect information. It's all on their fingertips. So if there's a problem, they don't have to learn anything new. All they have to do, know their language, their domain speci uh, specific uh, skills and they just have to ask the question and this virtual assistant which is not only an assistant it's an intelligent uh, assistant helps them solve the problem so that they can do their job very quickly and in under pressure as well now as many of us know the covid 19 pandemic hit the aviation sector pretty hard once things do start to open up globally, do you see things improving with the greater use of digital technology? See, there are two aspects to it. Yes, it hit. But a lot of airplanes now have been either put to junkyard, so to speak, or they have to be maintained so that they can come back into the service. The other thing is that now airlines are going for newer aircrafts for obvious reasons and the smaller ones. So the number of aircrafts would increase. And uh, look, after the vaccination, after all these things happen, I hope I'm not a health expert, but what I think is that travel is not going to go anywhere. People will travel. This is the, one of the best way of traveling. So it will rise like the phoenix, so to speak and there will be a phenomenal growth. Absolutely, here's hoping. Now here at Kalkine, we're very pleased to hear that Lex Technologies has been recently selected as part of the Netherlands-based Port XL Rotterdam Accelerator. Congratulations on this. This is the center of the Thank vibrant you. European port ecosystem. What does this mean for your company? It's, it's a great opportunity for us. See, this is also a pivot in the sense that since we can help maintain the most complex complex equipment in the world, uh, that is an airplane, right? uh, it can help uh, ships, it can help the port. All of them have complex uh, equipment. So let's say, what's the difference between starting a plane or starting a ship? Not much. So. What these uh, technicians do is that keep bring that back into service. And that's where Lex fits in. And this is what Port Excel saw in us uh, and has presented. Right now, we are talking to two very large organizations as we speak. Uh, and they are global organizations. And both of them are 
very keen in trying out our technology and uh, we're hoping that we could uh, you know, make it successful. The only problem is that we can't travel to Rotterdam. I wish by November if we could, I would like to be there. Yes, well, let's hope and keep our fingers crossed that that can happen. So you mainly operate in the aviation and also renewable energy sectors. Obviously, as you mentioned there, with ports and shipping industries now, what upcoming opportunities and challenges do you envision in this area? Look, we have uh, spread our wings in other uh, domains as well, right? So this is the port one is coming new to us, but we are already there in the renewable, in the wind farms. Right now, it is being used in Illinois, uh, in very large wind farm, uh, wind farm, and we are going to expand. So our target market obviously is there in North America uh, and the Americas. Uh, somehow we have not been able to crack into the Australian market, but we are talking and hopefully we will get in there. So market-wise, we have got a, a larger, what we call is a horizontal. So various verticals like the, the shipping, the aviation, the uh, renewable uh, power generation. And the other thing is that we have also been selected as a preferred vendor for New York Power Authority. And this just happened last week. So we are very excited about that and see how, how we go with them. Well, congratulations. That sounds like a fabulous move for your company. And as we're talking about the renewable energy sector, in your opinion, what are the possibilities of digital technology for wind farms currently? See, this is relatively a new uh, industry and they have a lot of challenges. Maintenance is one of the areas where there's a significant amount of money is spent. And obviously they would like to you know, make it more efficient. And what we have found that with our product, they have achieved in a turnaround time, if I say, uh, for say, one of the wind uh, turbines, it is almost uh, 15 to 20 percent, which is very, very significant. Uh, and then the other thing is that because they are remotely located, uh, as well as very uh, sparsely distributed, uh, any mechanic who has who has to travel across uh, cannot uh, risk to make mistakes so that he has to come back. It's a very simple thing, it's a 300 feet tower, right? And uh, once he's not got the spare part and go, goes up, the time taken to come back and then take it back, uh, take the spares back, uh, is significant. And so even though it sounds a bit simple, but these are the ones that Lex makes them avoid. So they don't make any mistakes. Uh, and it tells them and guides them as well as helps them. So he's a very intelligent colleague working with them. Well, it was been, it's been lovely chatting with you, Anand. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations on the successes that Lex Technologies is going through at the moment. Thank you, Rachel. It's Thank been, you for speaking yeah. with me today. Now, if yeah. you missed any part Thank of this interview, you can catch it on our website, Kalkai Media, or on YouTube. Watch this space for more, stay apprised and invest wise with Kalkine.